Hey guys, back with another video. And today we're going to be doing a clothes haul. So, I didn't go shopping. We're just going to be looking through all of my clothes that I have. Because I really need to like throw some clothes away. I need to get new clothes just on a mess. And we're obviously going to be hanging them up too. Because I just done laundry. Okay, so what we're going to start off with is this little shirt here first. It's yellow. This is actually my sister's shirt that she gave to me. Um, it's not really, I don't, I don't really know where she got it from or how much it was, but yeah, so this is the first shirt. I was hoping you guys can see. <laughs> All this. So, yeah. Or, like, see. Like, yeah, whatever. And then I have some blue leggings that are actually pretty new. I think I got these like a week ago. Or something like that. Just regular blue leggings and these pants are for you know that time of the month. <laughs> They're just some really comfortable, like I guess you could call them yoga pants. They have like little things at the bottom and they have cotton inside. They're really super stretchy. Um, and I use these for you know that time of the month because <laughs> I like to be way 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 in my comfort zone <laughs> and I just like to lay on my bed all day so yeah so those are the pants that I love to wear I have my skaters shirt right here that I usually wear when I go um, skateboarding So it's just plain white in the front. It says that and then on the back. I got this at Zuby's. Ugh. Excuse me. Yeah, I like going shopping at Zoomies. They their clothes like fit me spot on and I'm a skater. If you guys didn't know I'm a skater. So yeah. And then I also like to wear these that time of the month <laughs> they're like some camo joggers with white lines down the bottom and then they have cuffs also so yeah if you don't know what cuffs are they're just like little ankle things that go on your ankles and they like they're like really tight you know you know you know um and then these are some pants that I really love to wear like any day, anywhere. Um, they have elephants on them. They're not cuffed at the bottom, they're kind of loose, they're super long. So yeah, and they are really stretchy. So yeah. I got these, I believe at... Gorman's. I believe. Yeah. Gorman's. Okay. This is more of like my laid back shirts. There's a peace sign on the front and it's a long sleeve. And I really love these just to wear like around the house on gloomy days, rainy days. Actually, I might wear this. I'm still in my night clothes. I have my Oklahoma shirt on with these leggings. I actually just put these on. They're yoga pants. Um, I'm actually going to put, I'm actually going to wear this today. So, <laughs> I'm going to wear that today. So, you're about to see me in that. This is more of my dress type of shirt sort of thing that I like to wear to outings.
Um, it's more of a dress kind of thing. I still wear leggings with it, but it's more of a dressy sort of shirt. And then I just have this jacket here. This is just like a plain old jacket. It's just a gray jacket. Uh, it does have this little E on it, but I just say that means for Emily because I don't really know. Um, I don't hang these up. I put them in my drawer, so. Boom. Okay. Um, the next thing is this sweatshirt here. Which is inside out. I hate my clothes being inside out. Okay. Now, this shirt is striped, and it says, hello there. Black and white stripes. This is a shirt that I like to wear on also, like, gloomy days. It's cloudy outside. It, the wind's kind of blowing. It's kind of chilly. You know, those type of days. And then I have... A undershirt that I also don't hang up so um, I'm about to make a folding video pretty soon like how to fold like how I fold my clothes so what I do in my undershirts I take them like this like at the bottom now fold it fold it again fold it like this take the strap wrap it around take this strap wrap it around and boom folded <laughs> um, here's a sock, here's another sock, here's another sock, here's another sock, oh, this is my Creopper Heopper crop top, I love Kratas, this is my Mickey Mouse one, Got that smoking a cookie and a hot pot cooking. Smoking a shit. Da, da, da. I'm just kidding. No, but this, I love this crop top. Like, I literally love it. <laughs> and what day is it? It's Thursday, I believe. I don't know when I'm going to be posting this. I'm probably not going to post it. I will. Depends. What is this? Oh. I wear this when I'm like working out, working out, in my house. So, okay, this shirt I think has like a hole in it or something. It says I don't I forgot what it says. It says I can't read backwards. Oh, it says don't bother me, and it's gray. I don't think this fits me anymore, so. Trash. <laughs> oh, here's another plain jacket. This is the same one with the E on it. I'll fold my clothes later. Oh, this is my indoor shirt. <laughs> like I wear when I'm just only sitting home all day. It's a really, really big shirt. My dad actually got it for me. Um, it came in like this box. It came with all this stuff. and It was just like a box thing for a surprise for me. Here's one of my dress shirts that like I could wear to church or you know stuff for like that. The, oh wrong with my shirt. Okay, I don't know what's wrong with that. I'm gonna watch that again. I don't know what the heck was wrong with that. Ooh, these are my favorite sweatpants ever. These are my Nike sweatpants that I like to wear when, you know, that type of the month. Or like with crop tops.
Wait, to where this one cropped up fast enough. Um, these are Nike. It says Nike on the side. And they're just joggers. I really love these ones. Those are my favorite jogging pants ever. Um, what is this? Oh. And then, oh my god, all my clothes just fell. No. Okay, only three of them fell, but I'm still dramatic like that. Okay, this is, I think, my Yoda shirt. Yeah, it's my Yoda shirt. Here's my Yoda shirt. Just has, you know, Yoda on it. Okay. Now, socks. Sock, socks. Um. Back. Um, this is another shirt. It's a peace sign on it. It's like baby blue. I love this shirt. It's my favorite shirt ever. And then another fancy dress shirt. These are silk. So I treat them like angels. <laughs> They're silk dress shirts. I love these. And on the back it has like buttons. It's pretty cool. Look, it's floating. It's floating. I'm magic. I'm just kidding. Let's just put this one here if we got. You know what? So, I think that's all my clothes. Um, I'm probably gonna hang this. Uh. <sighs> okay okay guys um i think that's the end well this isn't really i guess it's kind of my clothes i guess not really my robe I love this robe. It's my pink roby robe. It has little pockets. I love setting my robe and just like opening my windows after I take a shower. It's so relaxing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What's the Gundam style? Okay. Now it's time to clean my room. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My room's clean. I like putting my robe on my chair. Like that. Okay. Oh! Octa Gundam style. Okay, guys, come on to my closet. I use. <gasps> Trying to clean my freaking thing. I used to have a walk in closet, but you know. I don't have that anymore. So, so this is my closet. You know, pretty plain Jane. Oh, bird, don't look. Look you see like my pants okay so my jogging pants over sometimes I just okay this needs to get on somewhere okay um I should don't worry about it you guys
My flipping dog, bruh. Wilbert. What are you doing, huh, babe? Huh? Nobody wants to see that. As you could see, when you guys first looked in here, bruh, I had no clothes. Like, all my freaking clothes were dirty. Cause it's been like a week since I washed clothes, I know, I'm horrible. <laughs> um, okay, so, as you can see, I have a lot of pants here. Okay. So, what I do, I'm gonna pant. So, I take my jogging pants and put them first. So, there's one pair of my jogging pants. Another pair of my jogging pants. I have about three pairs of jogging pants. So, yeah. Okay. And then, I take my leggings. So, here's black leggings. Here's my blue leggings. And that's it for leggings. And then, I take, like, my silky stuff. And then yoga pants. Okay. Gotta try to equal them out equally, but you know that never works. No, that's a work. That doesn't work. Okay, so now I put my sweatshirts at the back. I don't really have any more sweatshirts. And then my t shirts. I have a lot of freaking clothes. Not that many clothes, but you know what I mean. There's a t-shirt. And then my crop top. Go to my t-shirts also. This is a concerned t-shirt. And then all my dress shirts and stuff like that. I try to always equal everything out as much as I can. Okay. And there is my closet. There's my closet. So all my shirts and then all my pants. I don't really color coordinate my closet because I have a bunch of black stuff. So, and dark stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you this. I'm a hoodie. <laughs> oh, well, my purse, but there's a black hoodie. So, watch, watch what I say. Red, orange, blue, and black. Show off your natural you. Flamingo. Oh, oh. Okay, that was actually a TikTok, but I just kind of change it around. Sometimes I'll, like, skip the blue and then go back. So, I'll be like, red, orange, black, and blue. It sounds more... You know, and then I have like this little hanger thing, and then this is all my dog stuff. This is for their clothes, but um, I have a bunch of dog stuff. There's a harness, 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 leash, bunch of leashes. I have a bunch of stuff for my doggos. I have more doggo stuff than my stuff. Like, there's some more doggo stuff down there. Spring cleaning, guys, but you know, it's not really spring. So, yeah, that was my clothes haul. Um, and yeah, so, peace out, bye guys, see you later. Actually, you know what I'm about to do? I'm about to turn this video into a cleaning my room slash clothes haul. So, stay tuned if you want to see me clean my home room. <laughs> okay, so, I'm just going to kind of... You know, show you guys around. So my bed here, I pretty, I don't like big rooms, so I have a pretty small room. I picked the smallest room in the house because I don't really like big rooms. So um, my bed, I have a mirror right here, my closet, my telescope is over there. I have like a dresser, a little dresser, a shelf thing. Um, I have my PS4. I have a gaming chair. This isn't really a gaming chair. It's like a chair that I have that I use for gaming. You know. You know. <laughs> um. I have like a.
fuzzy rug. Um, I don't really... And then you guys are popped up on my dresser, on my uh, TV stand. Um, I don't really go out with my room. Um, I have like a Zoomies bag on my door. And then I have like a poster board over there. I have a couple things on my wall right here. Um, I have like a dream poster right there. I have a little banner right here. That's pretty much it. Um, I don't really go all out in my room. Just because, I know. So, yeah. So, um, we did have a older dog that was a girl before this. She was a boxer. Um, she had mange. So we had to get rid of her. If you don't want, know, if you don't know what mange is, it's a disease where your dog loses all their hair and then they just start to fall apart, literally. So their skin starts to just fall off and then they, then they just suffer until they die. And so we give her back to the original people that we got her from. They youth, youth, euthanized her, and yeah. So. Um, so this is her collar. Her name was Ladybug. This is her collar. This is her big old leash. And then this is a regular leash that we have for her. So yeah, I just keep all this stuff just in case like we get a girl dog in the future. Like another girl dog in the future. That way we can use that stuff since we already have it. Yeah. And then for um, more dog stuff that I have, um, I have a couple clothing things. I have a pop out water bowl for my dogs. Um, this is like for trips. I have like a little baggie full of food. Um, I need to get another one of these so when we go out they can eat. What I do is I pop this out, give them water, and then pop it the other way feed them their food and then I pop it back out and put water in it. <laughs> so this actually works great for both. So yeah. Um if you have one of these make sure to thoroughly clean it. Um like even your dog's water dishes and food bowls you need to clean th thoroughly. But these ones have like little nooks and crannies. So when the dogs like drink or eat out of this, they're slobber and spit and nasty gooey icky stuff just gets all in those creases and if you just wash it out with water and dump it out you won't get like all their slobber and all that gushy stuff and then it'll start like molding so you want to wash it out very thoroughly so um what i have is like this bucket um well i keep like bugs stuck in but this is for like trips it's like a dog trip bucket kind of so i throw their water bowl in there throw this little shirt it's actually from fourth of july it just says um mr america mr america on it that i keep i bring that usually when we go out of town then i have this little belly wrap for them if you don't know what a belly wrap is it goes around their wee wee or lady parts and men parts around the dog and you velcro it around them so when you leave them at a hotel or your friend's house if they pee if they try to pee on anything this will catch all the pee and you can just rinse this out this is washable um so yeah um i don't use this for wolbert my boston terrier i don't know if you can see him wolbert i don't know if you can see him but um he's back there i don't use that for him come here buddy i use it for this little guy right here because we, he's a new member to our family, actually. His name is Barney. Oh, thank you. Um, he was abused in his old foster home. He was in a puppy mill. And we rescued him. Oh, are you okay? Um, he was a breeder pup. Uh, so he breeded all the puppies. And so he he's about seven now. So we rescued him. Well, the, the uh, rescue... Uh, which is Furry Kids Refuge, rescued him from a puppy mill, and, uh, and then we went and adopted him. So, yeah. Huh. Oh, you, you remember? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for all your Yes, he is a perfect match for our family. Mm, thank you. 
He is just the perfectest little pupper. <laughs> Crazy pupper. He sleeps with me just like Wilbert does. Um, um, so what you do is come here. So you just wrap it under their belly. He doesn't really like this. But you wrap it under their belly, under the booty, and then buckle it. You know what I mean? He's being weird right now. But we usually take this when we go out of town or something. Um, just recently, we actually went out of town. Well, we didn't go out of town. We stayed in a hotel here um, in our city that we live in. Um, and we just brought him this, and it was really helpful. He did try to pee pee in the hotel, but this caught it, and we just threw it in the washer, perfectly washed out. Um, usually, you want to use like a maxi pad or a pee or something like that to put on there. So, yeah, but some of the pee like got through it, like went through it. He, he peed a river, so yeah, so we had to wash it. But yeah. Um. And then, obviously, he has on a new collar, but this is his old collar. It's like a blue old collar that we still keep in there. And then, obviously, we have a little poop, poop thing that we bring, on, bring with us. Um, that one is, oh, excuse me, is a newer one that we actually um, use. Haven't used yet, so. I have, like, my alarm clock. This is a really old alarm clock. Put it in this pocket that I have. Yep. Um, a couple slime things. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, do you want to play with it? Do you want to play with it? Huh? Oh, you want to play with it? Oh, yeah. You want to play with it? Get it. Get it, 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 Perfect match, huh? Say, I felt my forever home, huh? Yeah, if you guys are looking for a dog or a cat to rescue, go to Furry Kids Refuge and their pets are well taken care of. They're fostered, they are not a kennel rescue. They're around the uh, United States. I believe they're around the United States. I don't really know um, that whole situation with like where they are, but yeah. Um, I know they're in Kansas City, Missouri, um, I forgot where else. Um, yeah, but yeah, they take, they take really good care of their animals. Um, they are actually a foster community, so they do not have to, so they are not locked up in a kennel. Um, or anything like that uh, they go to foster homes until they find their forever home with a person they go to like pet smarts and pet co's and they put the dogs in like kennels so people can like see them and adopt them fill up applications it's a long process but you eventually look at your book yeah so go to furry kids refuge i will link them in the description below mm, thank you um, yeah, so go check them out if you're looking for a pet. They are amazing. It takes like two or three days you know, for them to contact you back about your pet. You fill out the application and then they'll contact you two or three days later and say, Oh, you got you got um, approved or you didn't get approved. I'm sorry. Well, we got approved for this little monster muggy right here. There's about, I think there was five other people looking at him. And we've been ones that got approved. His foster mom that he was with, um, she was actually, her license, I believe her license were taken away. I'm not too sure about that. But, uh, stop giving me dominoes. Mwah. But, uh, I don't, because she was not taking care of the animals. Um, like she should have been she was like keeping their 
um, papers like in a thing. They weren't. She wasn't calling the people about adopting them. So she was a bad foster mom. But guess what? We got you, huh? We do got you. We do got you. Oh, 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 doggy no, doggy no. Oh, 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 oh. Ugh. That was disgusting. Mm. But training videos are coming up. We are starting training, I believe, next week. We're starting training with them. Um, I train my own dogs. As you obviously know, Wilbert is my therapy dog. I trained him myself. I um, house trained him, our owner trained him. So, yeah, I believe we're going to train this little monster right here. So, yeah. Huh. Well, sit down. You're distracting me from cleaning my room, Mr. Um, and this video has been 30 minutes. Oh my goodness. Um. My little bug eye freak. Huh. You little bug eye freak. You little bug eye freak. Come on. Oh. <laughs> My little Barney, huh? My little Barney. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Okay, um, he is so distracting. He's just so cute. You just want to snuggle with him. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, let's pop this open. Get some white bees. If you have these, keep them away from small children, please. <laughs> Hello, this is a warning. Keep away from cho small children under the age of 10. Well, I'm actually 10. So does that mean I can't hold these? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm about to be 11 in June. So, I'm pretty much 11. I just tell everybody I'm 11 because I'm about to be 11. So, Yeah, what is back there? Oh. Let me wipe off my camera. No, I'm just kidding. Oof. How much dust was on my flipping TV? That is disgusting. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I haven't cleaned my room until. Look at that, that's disgusting. What, Barney? What are you looking at me for, Barney? So you want to fight? Fight, little man. You fight, you 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 fight, He's so crazy. <laughs> the perfect match. Wilbert. Wilbert's crazy. He's a crazy dog. I'm approaching the rabbit dog. Oh my god, have you guys seen that video? Like the man he called he called the cops. And he was just like, I built the doggy door so the dog could come in. I'm approaching the rabbit dog. <laughs> I love that vine, bro. Like, it's the most amazing vine ever. Like I love it. Alright. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to you. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Okay, so honey Becky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? Like, look at his little face. You get distracted so easily with that little face, huh? Yeah, I get distracted with that little face, huh? Yeah, he's jealous. Well, we're just jealous. Let's see what he does. Oh, you, 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 Oh. Oh. Forward. Mm. That's 
swear he knows to give me kisses back when I kiss him. <laughs> Stop giving me doggy love. I don't like doggy love. It's disgusting. Stop. <laughs> I don't have doggy love, but too many, too many, too many kisses, too many kisses, too many kisses. Too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. Too, 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 too. I'm approaching the rabbit hole. <laughs> I'm a rabbit in the rabbit hole. I'm a rabbit in the rabbit hole. <laughs> I'm a rabbit in the rabbit hole. I'm a rabbit in the rabbit hole. Oh my god. I'm a rabbit in the rabbit hole. I'm a broke in the rabbit doll. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. What are you doing? Life is free like America. <laughs> I'm so free. I use a 9 key pump like. Oh. Dry and sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. Kisses. Oh, I get a lot of doggy kisses. I don't like doggy kisses. There are too many doggy kisses. I'm a pumpkin rabbit dog. I'm a pumpkin rabbit dog now. Okay. I get so distracted. That has a beautiful loving face. Okay. Bye guys. And I will see you later. Peace out.